Welcome to a video on how to complete classwork set by your teachers on Google Classroom. The first thing you'll need to do is load up Google Chrome and make sure you are signed in. You can always check you are signed in by looking in the top right hand corner and making sure you can see your school's account. If you select the grid icon in the top right hand corner, you'll be able to see a list of all of Google's apps, such as Google Classroom. If you select Google Classroom, you will load up a list of all the classes you are enrolled on. If you cannot see a class here, you can email your teacher to get the class code and then you can join the class right up here or your teacher can invite you themselves. If I select the demo computing class for this video, you will see the page load up. This is known as the stream where announcements can be posted and you'll get a notification for every single post that's been uploaded. They're in order of date uploaded. If you want to complete classwork, you just need to go to the classwork tab in the top center of the screen. And then you'll see a list of all activities. If I just demonstrate how to open up a document, if the teacher has set the work as a Word document. If you click, for example, a bit of classwork here, you will see this is an assignment because it says view assignment. If you select view assignment, you'll be in the assignment view. Here's where a teacher can write any instructions that you need to complete. Below the instructions will be any supporting material. And on the right hand side is any bit of activities that you guys need to do to complete. So if, for example, this teacher has set a worksheet for you lot to complete, you select the worksheet. Because this is a Word document, you will not be able to edit it straight away. And there's a few extra steps you have to do. What you first need to do is click the three dots in the top right hand corner, open in a new window. Once the document opens in a new window, you will notice open with Google Docs in the top center of the screen. If you select open with Google Docs, you will then be able to edit the assignment. Just notice that this does open up two additional tabs, one tab for the worksheet and one tab for the preview. You don't need this tab no more. So here you can now edit the document. It saves automatically. Once you have finished, you have completed the worksheet. You can just close it down, close down the preview, click the back arrow in the top left hand corner, and then you'll be able to hand in your work. To go back to the main page, you can click the class code in the top left hand corner. If the teacher has set the assignment as a Google Doc, for example, this bit of classwork here, you can again click. And the only difference is that you can just open up the document straight away by just clicking the assignment. Once the assignment has been clicked, you will be able to edit the document straight away. Again, this saves automatically, so you haven't got to save it. The teacher will be able to see any changes you make. Once you feel you've completed the worksheet, you can close this down, click hand in, and that will be able for the teacher to go on mark. If you want to add an additional material to show your teacher some additional work, you can click plus, you can click Google Doc, and it will create a blank document that you can go on edit and add any notes or any questions that you want to give to your teacher. By just clicking that new document we've just created, it'll open up a blank Google Doc that you can type anything you like. Again, this saves automatically. If you want to write a comment for your teacher to see, you can add a private comment down here. Your teacher will be able to see this private comment and also be able to respond right here. If the class teacher has set a question for the students to do, you will know this is a question by if you click it will say view question. If it is a question, there are no files you have to attach or add in. You can just type in your answers to the questions in the top right hand corner. Once you're finished with the answers to your questions that the teacher has written, you can click hand in and the teacher will be able to view the answers to the questions you have submitted. I hope this video was useful. Just a couple recaps. To go back to your main class page, you can click the top left hand corner. 
To view any other classes, you can click the little lines in the top left hand corner to view any other classes you have. Once you're in the stream page, this is where any announcements will be posted. If you want to view any classwork or lessons, you can click the classwork tab and you can view any assignment or view any question. If you open up an assignment, your work will always be in the top right hand corner, which you can go and click and edit. If the document is a Word document, you will need to click the three dots in the top right hand corner, open in a new window, and then open in Google Docs for you to be able to edit the work. I hope this video was useful. Please email the school if you have any questions or any difficulties accessing any work submitted online. You can also email the class teacher if you have any subject specific questions about the work being set. Thank you. Take care.